Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my bathroom. I'm sitting on the side of my tub. It actually has great light in here in the afternoon. And I am coming at you today with some of my very favorite cleaning supplies as busy homeschool moms. We need some we need some tricks in our bag to pull out and be able to clean our house really well, really safely, and um, kind of in the nooks and crannies of our days because um, we've got a lot going on. And so these are things that I feel like double up a lot, that uh, are healthy for my family, and that we can um, everybody can use them. And so there's no excuse for having a dirty house when we have all these amazing things to help us clean. So this is uh, an idea that I pulled out of the spring issue of the magazine. I thought it would be such a fun video to do with you guys. Um, and every issue we have a favorites for that season. So this is the spring season, uh, the spring season favorites list. And I took this picture on my bathroom floor. So I thought, hey, let's do this in the bathroom because the whole thing is in the bathroom. So you can see, it is a ton of my favorite cleaning supplies, and um, I'm gonna talk about a couple of them with you guys today because I always like to know how are people doing this? How are people getting their house looking good in um, not a lot of time? Because as busy homeschool moms, we know we don't have a ton of time. So let's get into it. All right, the first one is for the people with carpet. This is Folex. It's a giant size. I don't know if they all come this big. I found this at Home Depot, but, um, and to be honest, I'm not exactly sure if it's the most healthy thing on the planet. I haven't used this very much. This size will probably last me for the rest of eternity, but I bought this because we put new carpet uh, in a bedroom upstairs. I've never bought carpet before, and I wanted to make sure I had something that would be able to take a stain out if we needed it. And I have not actually used it on the carpet yet, but I've used it several times on our very light colored couch and somebody spilled coffee, somebody spilled tea. Uh, there was something else on it that I wasn't exactly sure what it was. And I am telling you, this stuff is like magic. You, you basically, you kind of wet the spot, you spray it with this, and that's really all you have to do. You really don't have to scrub or anything. So Definitely, if you have carpet, I recommend Folex. All right, the next thing I have is something that we all do multiple times a day, and that is wash the dishes. And I get my dish soap at Azure Standard. I find this stuff to work really, really well. Uh, I, since my hands are in it and I don't wear gloves to wash my dishes, I wanted, and my kids are doing dishes multiple times a day, I wanted something that didn't have fragrance or a bunch of junk in it. And so this from Azure Standard does not have any of the junk, but the problem with buying the more healthy uh, dish soaps is that they don't really, there are no suds. I mean, it just seems like it's just water with no soap in it. And I always find a little bit more peace of mind when it's kind of like some hot sudsy bubbles when I'm washing my dishes. So this gives you the bubbles without all of the junk and so it's fragrance free um, it also feels really good on your hands it doesn't leave behind a film or anything but it doesn't feel drying on the skin and so definitely recommend this for your dishwashing because your kids should be helping you wash dishes it shouldn't just be you mom so um, this is safe for everybody to use and I love it. We've been using it probably for over a year now, and this is like something I can't let run out because we use it so much. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna say this right. Bon ami, bon ami. I'm not sure. Anyway, bon ami. This is so good. I used to use Barkeeper's Friend all the time because let's just be honest, some of the things with the harsher chemicals work really good, and so it's hard to put those down. But someone suggested trying this, it has the same cleaning power that I've seen. It, it scrubs the bathtub, the shower. Uh, you can use this on sinks. Um, it says you can use it on cookware and all over the kitchen. I mostly use this in the bathroom, but um, I, I sprinkle it in my shower and my bathtub and I just use a simple sponge to just, I think the grit of it, and it's just a powder. As you can see, it just sprinkles out like a little 
I don't know, a can of baking soda or something, but it just, you sprinkle this into your shower and you use a sponge or even just a wet rag and just like, it, it just works so well. So I love it. And it doesn't have that really strong smell where it kind of takes your breath away. I really don't like cleaning with that kind of stuff. Um, even though I will say there are times when I do just because it's a job that, it's a job that requires it. So if I can use this, I much rather use something like this because I don't like that feeling where you're kind of like, <gasps> like breathing heavy after cleaning. <laughs> it can't be a good thing. So I definitely recommend getting some of this for your kitchen, for your bathroom. It also does really well on your tile floor. So it has like, um, has grit to it, but it's not abrasive. It's just, I don't know. It doesn't scratch or anything. It's really nice. So definitely recommend this for the bathroom. Okay, and we all need something awesome for our floors. I usually just get on my hands and knees and wash the floor with a rag. Uh, I feel like when you do that, then you can kind of like get all the nooks and crannies and the, and the baseboards and all the things. I did just recently buy a mop for the first time in years, maybe a decade, and I really don't like it. So we'll see if that sticks around. But what do I mop my floors with as far as cleaner? Castile soap. This is what I use all the time. If I'm not using this one, I'm using another concentrate by doTERRA, which I'm actually out of at the moment. I love this um, Castile soap. This is Dr. Browner, Bronner's. I know that there's many uses for this. Um, really, the most thing that I have used this for is is just my floors. You do about a cap full for a gallon, I think is the ratio. I mostly just eyeball it at this point. Uh, there's really good smells. My favorite is probably the peppermint or eucalyptus. Um, this one, I think this one actually might be eucalyptus, but I think peppermint's my favorite. Yeah, peppermint's my favorite, but this is totally fine too. So they have lots of smells, but there aren't like the harsh, it's, it's, um, scented with, um, essential oils. So there's not that gross, like fragrance leftover smell in your house. I actually really find when my house feels the cleanest is when it smells like nothing. I don't really want a smell. And so I do like this because it's pleasant when you're cleaning with it, but it doesn't hang around for very long, which is really nice. I, I like that. So I definitely recommend Dr. Bronner's um, Castile Soap. I know there's lots of different uses for this, but my favorite thing is to clean the floors, the wood floor and the bathroom floors, the tile floors, any floors, because it just works so well. I have one last thing to show you guys today. And that is Scrub Daddy. I will say, I thought everybody is buying these Scrub Daddies, like, or actually this one's a Scrub Mommy. There's a Scrub Daddy and a Scrub Mommy. And I'm like, how can, are these that good? What is the, what is all of the rage about Scrub Mommy, Scrub Daddy? I don't exactly know why it's called this or anything. I just know these things are awesome. They work so well for scrubbing your dishes. Uh, there are multiple reasons why these are amazing. They can scrunch down really easy. The round shape I feel like is really good for cleaning the insides of your uh, glasses. There are some interesting shapes in here and so you can kind of put things inside to kind of scrub into kind of like you know, weird shapes of things, spoons, whatever. Uh, so I really do like these. I also use these to scrub out my sink. Um, there are uh, rectangular ones and then there's also kind of this fun shape. There's Scrub Mommy, Scrub Daddy. The Scrub Daddies might have two sides to them or something that makes them a little bit more stiff and like a little bit more rigorous when you're scrubbing things. Uh, you can also put these in the dishwasher and I have done that, but uh, I I feel like after, you know, a couple of weeks, it is time to probably get rid of the one and then grab another one. So, um, but you can put it in the dishwasher, which is really nice. The other thing about um, this line is I have really been loving this. I'm not sure if that's gonna, there we go. Uh, this is a paste. I actually love a good cleaning paste because I feel like it is really good for getting into nooks and crannies and cleaning areas that are maybe not so great with like, you know, other things like just a straight powder or I do like using baking soda a lot for scrubbing things. Um, 
but I have found that this is so great for like my stainless steel pans. If I have something really stuck on there that I can't get off, I actually just use uh, the scrub, um, the scrub with the scrubby and um, it really cleans them very quickly and very good. Uh, and then um, there's also other uses like the inside of the oven, um, the stove top, it works really well for, um, it says you can use it on grills, showers, ceramic tiles, silverware, countertops, windows, toilets, uh, lots of different ways. I have used it on my stove top in my oven and, uh, I believe in a bathroom situation for something like maybe a shower or tub or something like that, but definitely it works really well for multiple uses. It has a pleasant smell. You can see it's kind of like this orange color and it kind of has a citrus smell. So anyway, it's kind of a fun one to use as well. So really, really love this stuff. I'd say I've started using this in like the last six, seven, eight months or something and it's a winner. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you got some good ideas and maybe picked up some ideas to grab a few new cleaning supplies. As crazy as it sounds, sometimes when I have a new cleaning supply, it makes me more excited to clean. So I actually just got done scrubbing my bathroom and so I'm all done cleaning. I think I need to go grab a cup of coffee and maybe put my feet up for a minute. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next video.